Willkommen zurück zu Tales of Xilia. Ich habe in der Zwischenzeit ein bisschen trainiert. Und ihr seht auch schon, unsere Leute sind, glaube ich, gute 10 Level höher als beim letzten Mal. Und zwar hatte dies einen Grund. Ähm, es gab nämlich hier in dem Gebiet ein Monster. Also um genau zu sein, genau hier, wenn man hier durchgeht. Ein Monster, ähm, das eine Waffe in sich trug. Ihr kennt bestimmt noch die Geschichte, die uns erzählt wurde von einem alten Mann im Hafen von Hamil, glaube ich, war das. Ähm, der uns erzählt hat, dass es Monster gibt auf der Welt die Waffen in sich tragen und das sind sehr starke Monster und das war eben eines von diesen ähm, und das Monster, ich weiß nicht mehr wie es hieß, es hat auf jeden Fall 82.000 HP und es hat eine ganze Weile gedauert das zu töten und deswegen musste ich ein bisschen trainieren dafür, weil ich es die ganze Zeit probiert hatte und es hat nie funktioniert ähm, bis es dann doch tatsächlich funktioniert hat, die Waffe habe ich noch nicht ausgerüstet deswegen mache ich das noch schnell und zwar ist die Waffe nämlich für Alvin bestimmt Vizehain der Heuler Ihr seht auch, die Statuswerte sind gute 330 ähm, höher als die Werte der jetzigen Waffe, die wir haben. Also es ist schon ein enormer Anstieg. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, ob das die stärksten Waffen im Spiel sind oder ob es noch stärkere gibt. Aber das ist auf jeden Fall schon einiges, was die Waffe besitzt. Deswegen rüsten wir sie aus. Sie sieht auch richtig geil aus. Und werden jetzt in den Tempel reingehen. Gaius wollte ja mit uns sprechen. After one scarf, of course. That's your priority. Und wir wissen ja nicht, wie Gaius eingestellt ist. Easy on the eyes, wouldn't you say? I guess. Leave Jude alone for half a second, and he always comes back with some new girl. Ja, wir wissen nicht, ob er kämpfen will oder uns einfach nur etwas erzählen will und dann irgendwas anderes passiert. Man weiß es nicht. Ähm, Millas Schwester, noch eine kleine Plauderei. Are you really Millas sister? I am. Although it differs from the way you humans conceive of sisterhood. In what way? I couldn't say. I know little about the human version of the concept. But you brought it up! So, elementally, what kind of spirit are you? <laughs> oh my! What temerity to ask such a personal question! Wait, what? Alvin! You're committing sexual harassment! Wait, hold on. I didn't mean anything. Oh, okay then. Sheesh. Every bit the painter's sister is, but in a completely different way. Gut, gehen wir mal rein und hören uns an, was er zu sagen hat. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. 
No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying Riza Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Cambalar. Oh yeah, right, because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible we may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Okay. Dann ruhen wir uns doch erstmal aus. Also ein bisschen was haben wir erfahren. Und zwar, dass äh, Miller anscheinend eine Welt erschaffen hat, beziehungsweise uns äh, dabei noch eingesperrt hat in diese Welt. Okay, wie komme ich jetzt? Egal. Und ähm, Gilland versucht uns hier, also er, er versucht nach Hause zu kommen in seine Welt, äh, will uns allerdings hier gefangen halten und uns als äh, Versuchsobjekt oder Kraftquellen zu benutzen wegen unserer Mana-Lappen. Und deswegen müssen wir ihn aufhalten. Ähm, da Gaius allerdings keinen Bock hat, mit uns gemeinsame Sache zu machen, müssen wir es alleine machen, also wir als Team und er macht es mit seinem Team eben irgendwas aus, keine Ahnung. Ja. 
you wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty night, kid. Schlag vor dem zu Bett gehen noch etwas Zeit tot. Ähm, ich vermute mal dazu müssen wir raus. Oh, es ist dunkel. Aber irgendjemand muss auch noch da sein, oder? Ja, Miller ist da. Reden wir doch ein bisschen mit ihr. Can't sleep. No. <lacht> Me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no, you did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see.
We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. So, jetzt haben wir geschlafen. Und können endlich aufbrechen. Sind wir komplett? Ich glaube ja. Verlasse den Tempel. Machen wir das doch. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious. Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart. Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh, why can't we all stick together? <laughs> What shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roofs to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. Also arbeiten wir jetzt doch im äh, engeren Sinne mit äh, Gaius zusammen. Ich glaube, wir müssen hier lang. So, äh, Plan lautet, wir schlagen uns vor zum Schloss und Gaius und seine Leute ähm, äh, äh, lassen das Ablenkungsmanöver laufen. Okay, das war die falsche Straße. Allerdings haben wir noch eine Neben... Äh, nicht Nebenmission. Ich meine... Äh, eine Plauderei. Fußspuren nennt sie sich. My neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel marsh flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize, saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. Hm. Findet sich hier hinten irgendwas? Anscheinend nicht. Noch eine Plauderei. I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? Ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? Is that what we are? It would seem so. Noch eine. How long do you intend to accompany us? However long I must. It is my duty to serve Lord Maxwell in the eradication of this Exodus group of Spyrex users. 
I don't recall ordering that. Your memories are your own, but it is the truth. Regardless, it sure is good to have a great spirit on our side. Yes. And I would be most grateful if you would continue to direct Tether with me. I knew it. You really are in that kind of relationship. But I... Why won't anyone explain this to me? Okay, noch eine Plauderei. Es liegt in der Familie. What exactly is this strange object that is speaking to me? Strange? Strange? Maybe you should take a peek in the mirror, weirdo! Oh my, rude as well as strange. I cannot say that I am fond of it. The mean spirit lady is calling me rude! Tipo, are you okay? Wow, she can even frazzle Tipo. I bet she really is stronger than Mila. It's her natural obliviousness that makes her so formidable. Unless that's just an act. Although that would be even scarier. That's no act. She is Mila's sister, after all. And you just say that in front of me? Who's the oblivious one now? So you've lost the four and gathered these strange humans in their place. And my band of strange companions keeps growing. <laughs> 